Oh, Mac does the damage. And today we got Gunslinger, Suicidal, Lavender Town. It's 11 a.m. right now. I got two more KF2s to record, which is going to be probably about 11.45 by the time I'm done with those. And then I got a Yamachak tries, which is going to be, well, two Yamachak tries, so it's going to be about 12.45 by then. Ah, uh, no, we're going to do two Gunfire Reborns today, because I only actually prepared one Yamachak tries. Oof, do I have the time for that, though? I don't know. The, the, the thing with Gunfire Reborn is the amount of time an episode takes can differ so drastically depending on how successful the run is. Because if I win, that's an hour long run. That's an hour long episode. If I lose, it's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you know? Yeah, the amount of time that, that each episode can take, just it differs so greatly depending on the success of the run. So I'm, like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know. I got the time to record it all before stream if I die in Gunfire Reborn on both of the runs. If I win both of the runs, then I'll have to record the Amjack tries after stream, probably. Um, and I mean, I'm okay with that. You know, it's a, it's a responsibility that I'm I'm okay with. I prefer getting it all done before stream, but you know, such is life. If uh, if I get it done after stream, then so be it. Not the end of the world. I do have to. Uh, well. Nah, tomorrow. I have to go out tomorrow and do grocery shopping. I was going to say today, and I do have to do it today. <laughs> but I, I have to do my laundry first, and I've already kind of committed to not doing laundry today, so... Tomorrow it'll be... <laughs> do my laundry tomorrow while I... Uh, everybody's home today, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't want to annoy them with my laundry, being in the, the laundry machine, you know? And then uh, I also just... Don't really want to do laundry while they're out there, because... They'll talk to me, and I don't really want to talk to them right now. <laughs> um. Anyway, no laundry today. Laundry tomorrow. I still have clothes, you know, but I just I don't have like outdoor clothes, you know. I have I have indoor clothes, not outdoor clothes. Although right now I'm not really wearing my indoor clothes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's too hot, dude. It's too hot. You just you okay there, bud? It's too hot. You know, I was uh, I laugh when I see people outside, like men mostly, who uh, like in the summertime they'll just take off their shirts and then carry it with them as they walk around, and it'll be like, it'll be like a white T-shirt or something. And I, I I just look at them and I think, how much is that helping? You know, like, how much heat are, are you now losing as a result of, of taking off your very light white t-shirts? You know, are you, are you really getting a noticeable impact there? Because I don't think you are. You know, I think, I think it's mostly about you just wanting to be shirtless. I think it's mostly... Just about them wanting to be shirts. I always laugh when I see it, cause it's. I I, I think it's a. Uh, I think I think it's mostly a, a vain move, and I get I, I I find some humor in it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with uh, with being a little vain at times. Nothing wrong with that at all. If you're proud of you, then flaunt it, baby. But, um. It's, uh, I always get a chuckle out of it. Like, oh, it's so hot, and their shirt comes off. I'm like, you're not taking that shirt off because it's hot. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> let's be honest here. The shirt's coming off because you want your shirt off. You know, white shirt's probably even cooler to wear than your tanned skin. I would, I would, I would, uh, I would reckon that uh, a white shirt will, will dissipate or, or reflect more of the, the sun's heat than uh, somebody's tanned skin would. So by putting on a white shirt, you're probably cooler than by taking it off. But they take it off nonetheless. And I'm, I, I just look at them and I think to myself, Yeah, no, that, that, that came off just because you wanted to show off your abs, I'm pretty sure. And your abs look great. But like, let's just, let's not beat around the bush here. I've always found that funny. Always when I was growing up, you know. Friends would do it all the time. And I'm like, 
It's just, you, you don't, taking off your shirt, it's really just not going to do that much for you. Unless it's like a tight-fitting shirt that's thick and restrictive, you know. But like, why would you wear that on a hot day? <laughs> no, nobody's doing that anyway, you know. Anyway. I, I think of this because I'm not currently wearing a shirt. But I have an excuse. I'm too lazy to put on my bra. There, there it is. So just uh, shirtless for now. It's okay. I don't feel cooler as a result. <laughs> it's not. It's not for the the thermal benefits that I've uh, I've I've you know withdrawn from from being a, a shirt wearer. But yeah, I just find I just find it funny. I always find it funny, even, like even growing up. Yeah, like just. Uh, People taking off their shirts, complaining about the heat. I don't know. You just you're not you're not you're not you're not really losing much there. You know, it's not really it's not really benefiting you in, the, in a thermal sort of uh, fashion. Social, perhaps. But anyway, anyway, enough about that. It's not even really summertime anymore. Is it summertime? I don't know. When when does when does fall start? I think it's I think we've hit fall, right? I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. Cause the seasons are so wrong these days anyway. Hey. Seasons so wrong anyway, you know? They're like, oh it's summertime and I'm like, nah, it's still like spring. It's not summer yet. I know I know that the day says that it is summer. It's not summer yet. And they're like, it's fall. I'm like, yeah, it's been fall for like, I don't know, a few weeks. <laughs> we have short summers here. Thankfully. Thankfully. Makes it comfortable for me. I mean, I'm not sure what uh, what kind of an impact that has on the world or what it's, it's, a, it's, it's a result of global warming or anything like that. I'm mostly uneducated on the matter, but... From, from just the perspective of, of my personal comfort, the short summers are nice. Means I don't have to suffer as much. I mean, open my window in a few days. You know, that's that's unheard of in the summertime. I'm pretty sure we just hit fall though. I'm pretty sure it's like September 20 something or whatever, right? And when does winter typically hit? Or when when does winter hit? It's like December 21st or something. I don't know, man. I uh. Winter for us typically hits like January, mid January. Fix that armor. It looks terrible. When we uh, we finally start getting like particularly cold weather and then snow and stuff, and then that stops usually around March. But that's what I'm saying. Like you get the the dang seasons, and they're just like, well, it's it's winter now. I'm like, well, it's not really it doesn't really feel like winter yet. We gotta we gotta change the days, you know. Pretty sure we do on occasion, right? I think it's. I think we're due for a change, though. I think we're due for a change. Bravo! I would shake your hands, but I shall just eviscerate you instead. I had a good weekend, though. I had a good weekend. I'm. Uh, I'm well and relaxed. I'm excited to be here. It's more than you can ever ask for, right? Contentedness. I'm happy with it. Looking forward to this weekend. You know, already you know, kind of, kind of looking forward to it, I guess. Um, you know, week weekends are always nice, right? It's nice to get back to work too, but so the the whole YouTube career thing is it has thus far not really been very successful <laughs> yet, but. Uh, it might eventually be. Um, thus far, we haven't really seen much success. Uh, a lot of growth, a lot of greatness. It's being happy, um, but not much success. You know, I haven't uh, haven't made uh, haven't made a dime from this yet. Not that I expected to, but um, yeah, I don't know. I have to I have to make a decision, I guess. How long am I willing to commit to the? Uh, 
to the YouTube stuff, you know? How long am I am I willing to to stick with it? I don't know. Definitely another month at least. After that, I don't know. See how I'm feeling at the end of the month, I guess. I am feeling better and better every uh, every day. I wasn't able to really focus on advertising and marketing for the first while. Um, of, uh, of hitting this like full-time content production kind of stuff. Um, because I just... My time was so taken up by, by thoughts of YouTube and, and YouTube and, and planning it all. And uh, at this point in time, it's pretty much habitual, you know? And uh, love it. Still going to be doing it even if it's not successful. Uh, we're going to have to tone it down um, for sure. I'm going to try and tone it down as little as I can because I do love it so much. But I, um, you know, it's uh, it's here, <laughs> and uh, I have to, I have to make a decision. You know, I don't know what that, what I want the decision to be. But um, you know, it was a. Uh, Anyway, now 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 that I've, I'm, it's more habitual and I'm more into it and I'm more able to kind of like get it done in, in in a reasonable amount of time. It's uh, a little bit easier for me to start worrying about like focusing on some marketing and advertising myself as well, getting my name out there, getting people to know of my existence and, and be interested. Um, yeah, my, I might spend like an hour a day trying to figure out somewhere that I can post my videos and stuff and. Um, see if we can get some some viewership that way or something like that. I don't know. But I have I have more time now. You know, at the, at the start of it, like so much of my time was taken up by just planning how I'm gonna. Don't hit the mute button just randomly. So much of my time was taken up by uh, just planning how I'm gonna like do stuff. You know, and uh, now that I know I'm gonna do stuff and I just do it, I have I have like so much more time. It's it's crazy. Because I still make the same amount of content I was at the even more. I make I make more content now than when I was at the start of September because I'm recording the gunfire actually, and yet I, I have more time despite me recording like an extra like hour and a half of footage each day basically you know. I uh, I actually have more time available to me just because I'm not I'm not thinking about stuff so much and and spending so much time like. Figuring out how I'm gonna do it and whatnot, like it's just it's it's done now, you know. And uh, it feels good to have all this free time. I mean, I say a lot of free time, but like it's like a few hours a night, you know. On on weekdays, I get like four or five hours. Like, that was the plan, right? Was to have like six or seven hours or whatever, and I get that. And uh, you know, that was that was the plan the whole time was to to have that uh, that much of a of a break at the end of the day, right? And to, to be able to be, like, there at the point where I'm able to do that confidently. I mean, I tell you, it's just, it feels really good. It feels really, really good. Where's this other boy? Up there. No, he's down here now. Feels good, man. And it's crazy how much of a difference just, um... Knowing what I'm doing makes to, to how much time I spend on it. And obviously, right? If you know what you're doing, you do it faster. You're more efficient. I don't, sp I don't spend as much time making the thumbnails and stuff. I don't spend as much time figuring out what game I'm going to play. I don't spend as much time like on all these things. And all that little bit of time, it adds up. And I have so much free time. At the end of the day. I'm still really tired at the end of the day. <laughs> um, so I don't like... I don't know. My, my plan was to have like seven hours or whatever to, to be able to play games and stuff. That's not really the case. Um, I'm way too tired to focus on a game at the end of the day, but I do have a lot of free time to relax and stuff. And, and at the end of the day, like I've already played so many games throughout the day, I don't really need to. Like that's like eight hours of of gaming a day, you know. And I don't really need uh, more than that. I'm hoping to this week a little bit do some hardcore gaming towards the end of the days, just because. Uh, well, the boss I need to kill is is on the right path right now, and uh, I need to to make some progress on that front. But it's like, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I was thinking about the the, the Twitch stuff. How I'm gonna change up the Twitch stuff. 
uh, since this month is not like it's it's at the end of the month basically this month has not been super successful we've got this week to, to still do things and, and see how it goes and then next week will be the final or will be the like changes will happen next week basically I'm gonna have to, to think about what we're gonna do and, and decide on it based on how this week goes this is the final week of September uh, I will be finishing the week even though it will be partially into October um, but this is the final week of September and it's not looking super great for the stream. So what I think I'm going to change is uh, I, I think for now I'm just going to change the... And I'm even going to do that this week. I did it last week actually too. Uh, but I'm going to change the Friday stream which is like three games for an hour. I'm going to change that to a Monster Hunter stream. Or a RuneScape stream. It would be like a flex stream but RuneScape or Monster Hunter. I'm stretching. Be <sighs> RuneScape or Monster Hunter stream. The Wednesdays will still be the um, the same thing. So Mondays and Fridays will be Monster Hunter. Tuesdays and Thursdays will be RuneScape, and then Wednesdays will be whatever I decide on the day. Well, like it'll be it'll be Death Gambit for now, or you know maybe uh, Dark Souls in a later date or something like that, right? Um. But I'm thinking that's what we're going to do, what we're going to move towards, because both Monster Hunter and RuneScape. Mo Monster Hunter in particular actually gets uh, a decent number of views when I when I play it. RuneScape, not so much, but it does get views as well. Uh, they're both my best performing games on stream, so committing to both of them. And, and they're both my favorite games to play, too. Um, so being able to, like, actually... Do that more on stream would be pretty cool, and then and and having views and stuff is, is also very nice. Like I said before, it's it's the views that keep me going. You know, it's about the numbers. I love it. I love seeing it. Love seeing it. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna have to change next week. It's gonna have to change next week. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly. I haven't thought about it exactly. It might, it might be that. I might commit to full RuneScape. I might commit to full Monster Hunter. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's a thought. If you have thoughts, if you have whatever, like, just let me know. I will, uh, I'll, I'll happily take thoughts and, and comments and stuff. I, I don't know if I'll follow through on it exactly, but I'll, I'll happily take them and have some feedback and, and, and third party kind of, uh, uh, ideas and, and concerns and stuff that you might have because um, it's, it's got to change next week we can't we can't keep it going the way it is because um, it hasn't been very successful so which is okay you know I uh, I expected to have some mild success um, I haven't yet it's okay you know it's not the end of the world it's not like I you know, at the end of the day I didn't expect to actually be able to turn this into a job so, for it to not be successful early on, kind of lines up with that, right? I, I fully expect to have to, to, to find another job. That is that is entirely what I'm expecting to do. But I mean, it's you know worth a good old college try or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, it was a uh, for for some reason the weekend videos don't get very many views. I don't know. You guys don't watch videos on weekends or something like that. Favorite YouTubers or <laughs> shows or whatever put up uh, videos and, and they're stealing you from me. <laughs> I want out of here. Like ASAP. Yeah, it's weird. I don't get any views on the weekends. Any hoozle. Any hoozle. What was your favorite Pokemon? What was your favorite Pokemon? When you, when you, when you played Pokemon. If you don't play Pokemon, name a Pokemon. <laughs> Sound off in the comments below. What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon? Probably Charizard. Probably Charizard, I would I would guess. Charmander, Charizard. They're both they're both pretty good. And not just because like my name is, is Char. Not just because of that. 
Nobody calls me Charmander. Actually, no, not many people call me Charmander. It's a nickname that I used to have when I when I first decided on my name of, uh, of, of Charlotte. And uh, some people called me Charmander at times. Nobody does that anymore. It's not disappointing, but uh, curious. I don't, I don't. I don't have any desire to be called Char Charmander, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like the the, the the there's just certain like. Um, okay, you have to just just take some grenades. Okay. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> Dear. Man, the abomination this week is my my mortal enemy. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.